Right, okay, so the first part we're going to make is going to be the body and it's going to look a little bit like this one. Okay, so you can see we've got some wire down the centre and then we're going to create this little detail going around the outside. Okay, so your first steps, you have already got a seven inch line drawn out for you. Okay, so you're going to take your wire and you're just going to lay it along that line. And when you get to the end, if you just use your nail, create a little bend okay and then you're going to take your scissors on that bend and you're going to cut your seven inch piece of wire off and we're going to lay that to one side then we're going to do exactly the same again so another seven inch piece of wire again bend with your nail at the end and chop that off so now what you need to do is you need to get both of these pieces of wire together and you need to meet, make the ends meet up once you've got the ends meeting up, if you run your fingers down the wire, then you're going to bring it round and you're going to make all four ends meet. Now, it doesn't matter if that's not too perfect. Just get it as close as you can. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm starting to bend the wire at the end. So I'm folding it in half. OK, now you really need to put some pressure on this and try and nip it together as closely as you can. You can also you've got a glue stick on your desk you can use a glue stick to help you push those together. Or if it's still proving a little bit tricky, you can get your scissors back and you can start nipping it together with your scissors to make all those little bits come together a little bit more closely. Again, I'm just going to give mine another little bit of push with the print stick, trying to get it all as narrow as I possibly can before I move on to the next steps. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring back our wire and we're going to start to make this detail around the body and it's simply just whapping wire around the body and leaving a little gap between each time we wrap. Okay, so I'm taking my wire and I'm going to start wrapping the end around just by giving it a little twist. And then once you've done that, you can then maybe get your scissors again and just the bit where you've got the raw end poking off, just give that a little nip round with the scissors. Try and wrap it as tightly as you can onto the body. It is a bit tricky, but just do it as best you can. Okay, so now we're going to start working with this bit of wire. Wrapping it round, maybe four or five times and you can see I've gone on top of that bit of the end poking out as well just to cover that up so again I'm just going to push all that down so it's nice and tight and as neat and as flush as I can get it so once we've done our first couple of wraps I'm going to wrap around again but leaving a little gap and then again one two three four and five wraps around and now I've got those wraps. Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap and do another five. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, a little gap. Now we're about halfway up the body of our dragonfly. So I'm going to do one last one. One, two, three, four, five. And then that is where I'm going to stop for the body.